to the decision just I want to put myself in the best position around the best possible time so didn't feel like I had that last week uh, knew I was going to do well on all the other stuff so plan worked came out here I think I ran a good time I still don't know it, but I think I ran a good time and uh did really well in the position drills and I think I did well your legs were just fresher after all yeah just you know you check you stay up late wake up early multiple days get off a flight sit down stand up all that stuff um, just felt like I have a better uh, chance this weekend. I did that. Now, what's this process like? It's it's interesting. Um, it's a lot of work. Um, it is a lot of work, a lot of brain power. But uh, you know, not everybody gets to go through it. So you got to remind yourself that you got an extreme opportunity to uh, accomplish a dream. And that's kind of what I keep my mind on. So um, you got to find the joy in the little things. And uh, I think a lot of us have managed to do that so far. Yeah, when a team's looking at you, what what are they getting in a player in on the field, off the field, to carry on? I mean, I think off the field, I think that's the least thing they have to worry about. Um, nobody nobody's ever heard of me being in trouble, planning to keep it that way. So off the field is the easy part, then, in my opinion. <laughs> on the field, uh, I think the film shows for itself. Uh, I do a lot of different things. I do a lot of different things well. Um, I'll go out there. I play 100%, no matter the situation, no matter how I'm feeling, no matter the game. And so I think they get someone who's dependable. What's been some of the points of emphasis in your training so far? Uh, I, I was working, I was focused on the 40. Uh, pretty much, I, I mean, the rest of the stuff is football. I've been playing football my whole life, running, catching, cutting. That's stuff that everybody knows how to do. Um, so I was just working on these combine drills, you know, 5 to 5 all that stuff. Put a heavy emphasis on that. Um, and I think it really showed off or paid off, and I'm happy with it. What were you running, wanting to run the 40? 4 5 or, or, or lower. Uh, I can't do 4-4, what do you do? Um, but four or five could be anything above that, so uh, that, that was my goal. Uh, that's what I've been working on for three months. And just had to come out here and prove it good. Was that just a goal or something or something based off of what you've seen? You know, no, that was what we're on No, I said that goal was for myself. For myself. Um, that's just the speed that I feel like I, that I play at. Uh, so that was kind of my personal goal. Other people run with other people run. What's your preparation now leading up to the draft? Now I'm back to being an actual football player. You know, I'm not working on those drills or anything. Now I'm just working on bettering myself as a running back, uh, cutting, being in shape, uh, working on durability and flexibility. And so now it's back to being a normal football player. You like all the conversations that you've had with the team so far? Yeah, I've loved them. It's, it's cool to get to know all these coaches. And you've been seeing these guys on TV for however long you've been playing football. And you hear about them and you always look at them and it's, oh man. Some big, some big, uh, just uh, unfathomable person. But then you meet them, and you're like, oh, this is the company that I'm in. So it's cool. It's cool to meet them and talk football, and you find out that you know a lot more than you think you did, and it's always cool. Do you have a Do you have a story of somebody that you looked over and you all of a sudden you realize you're next to? I walked in. I walked in. Uh, so my dad, my dad has been a big Tampa Bay fan for a long time, and so John Lynch is San Francisco's GM now, and so I'm sitting there about to meet with him and. Uh, he walks out, he looks over, and he's like, oh, carry on. So I'm like, in my, in my brain, I'm like, this dude knows my name. Like, I mean, just, I, I grew up watching him, and Mike Allstar, and all those guys just, and now you get to shake hands with him, talk football with him. And I mean, it was, and then I got to meet John Elway, and he introduced himself, and I'm like, you don't have to introduce yourself, dude. <laughs> Everybody knows who you are, and um, so just those, meeting people like that, it's just crazy. It's really, it really is crazy. When you talk to all these teams, What's one of the top things that bring up to you? Like, maybe their concerns, how are they questioning most of them? Uh, I mean, I think everybody always goes with the durability question. Um, and so we talk about it. But, uh, teams are a lot more willing to listen and understand it than people outside of football are. Um, I mean, bottom line is, playing SEC running back for three years and missed three games. I mean, that's, that's bottom line. Uh, not many running backs can say that and come out of this league. So we, we talk about it, we diagnose it, and we move on.